These are wife cakes. They're a traditional Chinese pastry from the southern province of Guangdong, and this bakery in Hong Kong has been making them fresh every day for over 30 years. It's fluffy. When you bite into it, it starts to flake off, and then the inside is sweet, and it you, it all melts together in your mouth. My name is William Chung. I'm 32, and I'm the golden errand boy for the Key Trade Cake Shop. Is that your actual title? Oh, it's my official title. You can think of it as a manager. It, you feel more important if you call it, call it a manager. But my mom likes to call me an errand boy. We sell traditional Chinese pastries, cow ears, uh, chicken biscuits, coconut tarts, guangzhou bangs. Uh, wife cakes, small also, pop uh, tofu. Okay. So we're making wife cake today. Traditionally, a wife cake was made because the guy wanted a feel for his wife. So we made a cake, and when he ate it, it, the sweetness reminds him of his wife, and somehow he wants to spread it around, which is weird. Actually, there are several origin stories, and this is just one of them. Anyways, back to making wife cakes. First, we create the base of the skin. We mix flour, lard, water, sugar, and a little bit of oil together. We melt it together with a lot of arm strength. We rub it vigorously to create a more bouncy and stretchy texture and then we let it rest for about 30 minutes. We roll it out and we put in a, another layer of lard and flour in between the sheets and then we fold them and we lay it out, we fold them, we lay it out. It's like how you make croissants, but instead of using butter, we use lard. The laying out makes the whole pastry puff, puffy. So when you bake it, it will be layered. And then when you bite into it, the layer flake off and that gives the pastry puff its signature style. For the filling, we use sugar, flour, water, oil, and other flavor enhancing stuff to make it better. And then we Are add- keeping this a secret? Of course, it's, it's, it makes it different from the ones you eat outside. Our fillings are less mushy than the ones outside. After that, we uh, put the filling in the, the, in the skin, we put it all together, we roll it out. Oh yeah, the egg wash gives it the shine and the brown coloring, so it looks better. We, we make a hole in the middle of the wife cake to prevent the pastry from bulging into a big bowl, and then we put it in the oven. It bakes for about five to eight minutes, depending on the temperature. Of we bake it and we sell it. We measure things out, but it's more about the feel of the dough. The humidity changes, the uh, temperature changes. We can't just use the same measurement every time. They've been doing this for more than 30 years, so they, they know by look, just by look, they know how, how the dough is turning out. It was like, oh yeah, you need more water there. Or like, oh, you need to rub a little harder. They say it, there's a sheen to it. I don't see it, but... That's why my pastry falls apart. Everybody's trying to create new things to attract new customers. We focus on the traditional side. We don't do extra things like bread or fancier things like mucha or pumpkin spice. People come and they know what to expect from the store. You feel much better when you see it come out of the oven. You see the guy uh, having it over his head. It's like, yeah, fresh cakes. The process is part of the pastry. You know this is made by hand because it's crooked. You, you can see the filling peeking through the walls. 
it gives a sense of Yan Cheng Mei. Like human touch. That just sounds wrong in English. No wives are harmed during the production of wife cakes. 